J. Palin, IPA. Translating research into action. Agriculture is a source of income for about half the population in Africa and it's a big proportion of GDP so it's a vital um, area for improvement. So we've seen big improvements in yields in many parts of the world largely as a result of farmers taking up new technologies, new improved seeds, new fertilizers. Sub-Saharan Africa see almost flat yield growth. There's been a lot of investment in producing new technologies for farmers in Africa, and yet we see quite low take-up rates, which may explain why we see that very flat profile in Africa. At one level, it doesn't explain it, because why aren't they taking up these, these technologies? We did an analysis of all the evidence out there and came up with a list of you know, the key possible constraints that farmers could be facing for why they weren't taking up those technologies. And then we're sort of systematically trying to do different evaluations that address those different barriers. So the EUI project was designed to investigate two branches of the, of the uh, concerns that farmers give us here in northern Ghana. Are they really unable to make investments that are profitable because they don't have money? Or are they unable to make these investments because they're worried about risk? And so we wanted to test that. Now it was designed for northern Ghana and around the specific problems that northern Ghanaian farmers might face. But these two basic issues of capital constraints and worrying about uninsured risk are ubiquitous throughout uh, agricultural areas of poor countries. We worked with experts in the field and eventually with the Ghana Agricultural Insurance Program to develop a rainfall index insurance product. The idea of it was to provide an insurance product that would assure the farmers that in the case of a disaster, terrible rain or terrible flood, they'd be made whole again. The insurance gives the farmer the confidence to want to plant more because you see most of the farmers doing small scale farming because they don't have the confidence, they don't know what will happen. That gradually would now move that farmer from a peasant farmer to a semi-commercial and then eventually to a commercial farmer who become an export commodity for the country. This project was designed to test the role of, of credit or access to capital and the role of risk and insurance. So they took a group of farmers and randomly picked some to get access to capitals. Another group was randomly chosen to get insurance. Another group got both and a group was just the status quo. There's three main conclusions from that study. The first is that when they find it worthwhile for them to invest in their farms, farmers have ways to find the resources to make that possible. <laughs> Number two, it was mitigating the risk that made it more worthwhile for them to invest in their farm. Number three, the disappointing part of the study, is we don't have any good evidence that these additional investments that the farmers made on their farms yielded a high profit. And so that's precisely what motivated the DIRTS project. And so now we're looking at the next layer of constraints that farmers talk about. So the DIRTS project that we're developing now um, is to combine this rainfall index insurance with two other interventions that may help these farmers. Number one is assuring access to inputs and perhaps outputs at the right time um, and to make sure that the quality of those inputs are high. And second, providing a new form of extension advice to farmers to help them as they move into this new kind of production with their higher investment to make sure that they know the recommended techniques for using these new inputs.